All right. So, <clears throat> Amaranth was banned off of Twitch. And um, it's very interesting because a few days ago, I was... <laughs> a few days ago, I was on Twitch going to raid somebody. And I came across Amaranth. And I want you to understand, I was like, wow. Because... I wasn't per a particular fan of the type of content she was making in the pool in the hot tub, right? And the issue, the the issue of it, um, wasn't because it was a pool or a hot tub. It was what she was doing in the pool with the floaties that was very suggestive, and I feel is inappropriate for um, this app. That's just me personally. So I was grossed out, and um, Twitch had demonetized them. But what's weird? This is they they actually Amaranth uh, reached out to me. Not like a big thing. She commented on my YouTube video. I'm not. I'm not like this fucking famous celebrity. Like, just chill, okay? I don't want you guys to think that I actually matter because I don't. But I, I, she, she put a comment. She was like, you know, they, they took, they stopped paying me uh, ad money, but they kept monetizing my videos. And that I was like, well, that's actually pretty shitty. If Twitch is gonna stick, you know, put ads on there, and they're not gonna give her the money. That's shitty. Anyway, um, Twitch responded by making like a, a pools and hot tub area, <clears throat> which we all knew what that meant. We knew that meant like that's where all the porn's going <laughs> and i was like okay so i blocked it off of my my feed i was like because they were the tiktok or excuse me twitch was like yeah you can block it i was like okay fine i'm gonna block it boom we're done i don't have to see it you know good for me of course um after that happened i randomly came across her rating somebody i'm like what is this and i was shocked as to what she was putting in the ASMR chat. And I'm going to play like I'm just going to like kind of show you a little bit of it. I'm going to I'm going to I'm not even going to play it visually because I don't want it to get removed from I don't want to get demonetized if I make this a YouTube video. But like we're going to listen to it. Um I will describe she's wearing black lingerie with cat ears on and she has those ASMR ears that's like one of each ear. So let's just kind of play this on our platform but platform let me see if I can find like the part where what do you got OnlyFans and she's links her OnlyFans and whatnot. Let's see if I can get to the part where it's just like I just listen. You know what? I feel like I'm doing you guys a disservice. Let me just show you. <clears throat> By the way, that's not me in the corner. That's me in the corner from the past. I was just disgusted by this. Yeah, I think that I think that's enough of that. I think that's enough of that, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, um, that was really gross. I first of all, like I have uh, something. So like. ASMR like really fucks me up, makes me cringe. It like it kind of makes my ticks worse. But like that was that, and um, bro, like, <laughs> why is that on this platform? Listen, I think that I, that's for kids are watching that on Twitch. I find that to be fucking crazy. But what I find like interesting, more interesting, I suppose, is I believe I have something here of yes pokimane's response to it and i kind of wanted to watch the response to it um you know women support women this is a clip from it like uh i don't know if it, she's her entire can i say she has an entire video about it so if anybody doesn't know basically recently uh why why are these fucking youtubers have such low videos like what is wrong with these people turn your shit up bro the fuck's the matter with you? I'm just gonna watch the clip though. I really, I did call it. <laughs> when we talked about the hot tub meta, I said, listen, Twitch, it doesn't matter if you make a new section for this or if you ban these individual people because, or if you ban turn myself hot tub down a streams bit. indoors, they're gonna find another way to push the envelope. Okay, that's true, I guess. But like the whole Twitch's job is to stop people from pushing the envelope. That's that's the same logic as like people on t like Twitter banning KKK members and then you being like, well, you might as well leave them there because people are going to find a way to push the envelope. It's like, yeah, it's their job to stop it. And if you have a firm stance against basically porn being on your platform, 
You have to fight against it. And it's crazy because Amaranth got like multiple, like she knew what she was doing. She like dialed it up. And I feel like she did the ASMR thing specifically to circumvent the fact that there were probably a lot of people who blocked the hot tub thing. So she's like, oh, I can get a new audience. I guess maybe everybody called it, but. Yeah. It's not specifically hot tubs that were the issue. We, the issue yeah, no kidding. was that Twitch has no way of categorizing sexually suggestive content. Why would they? I don't understand. Why does she does she why does she think this is a good take? Why would you want to like the reason that they don't categorize that is because they don't want it on their platform. I And on a platform that <laughs> the top or most viewed channels are extremely forward facing you're creating an inevitable facing? time bomb for yourself essentially because even now if you say okay no no hot tub streams or we're giving you guys a section or we're giving ear licking a section we're giving no don't give ear licking a section just be like hey we're gonna firmly stand at, stand here and say no more porn sections are they're gonna find another way to do something that's a little bit naughty. Um, then do it on Pornhub, like, <laughs> like naked, I guess. See, that's the thing with like a lot of these people on Twitch. I and I'll give them credit. They they use Twitch as um, like safe for work porn because then they don't have to fully objectify themselves to the degree that they would have to on like an actual website, like on you know on an actual website. She and said she was hot. Oh, was she high? I thought she said she was high. And you're going to keep having the same issue. They basically implemented a Band-Aid fix as opposed to treating the root cause. What's, okay, okay. What's the root cause, Pokemon? It's not about the symptom. It's the root what's cause. What's the root? Which is your TOS and your lack of content organization and labeling. Wait, she just said that you can create labels for things. But one of the problems is their labels. Okay, so like Twitch TOS can be more, they need to be more straightforward, but I'm pretty sure it says that you're not allowed to do sexualized content. I, this is like a, this is a terrible take. You, you just need to give like your mods and your admins power to basically label certain channels as sexually suggestive. And okay, but like maybe they just don't want that on a child's platform. What? Who would have thought? And just an idea. Again, I don't know if this is entirely correct or not, but I'm trying to compare it to like kind of perhaps what other platforms do, like YouTube or otherwise. I think that if a content is labeled, uh, sorry, if a stream is labeled as sexually suggestive and it's something that you don't want to ban off the platform, but that you also don't want to incentivize, then channels like that just shouldn't be shown. But that's just like a different direction that they could go in. But like they're they have not gone in that direction. Their direction is this is what they're thinking. So Twitch is like, okay, we're making money from these people being on the platform, so we don't want them to go. But we also know that we have to hold to not having porn on our platform because then advertisers are going to want to go. So we're a little bit confused on what to do. But it's in TOS not to do sexually suggestive content. So then rather than look at this situation like, okay. Um, rather than to look at the situation where it's like, oh, why did they randomly ban this person that was doing really suggestive content? You look at it like they should have banned them sooner and you got away with murder for so long. That's that's what it's supposed to be. In the discovery, um, like in the discovery feed or in uh, like in certain categories. So then at least like the specific followers of that channel can see it. But random no. kids on the website can't because I promise you there's a lot of random kids. And it's good that you know that. <clears throat> I feel like I haven't heard a lot of people say this, but I do kind of personally want. Okay. I, I really. I, we don't have to watch the full video. Yeah. So listen, here's here's the thing. Um, stop showing kids tits. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, it's their TOS. They can do whatever they want. They should be more transparent and all that. But like, they knew what they were doing there. They, the Amaranth knew what she was doing when she was being uh, toning up the sexualization. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow my Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and TikTok. All links are in the description. Also, check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me even more than you already do. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all.